Welcome for your warriors, baby Jay here from Tucson, Arizona. So I was browsing the, you know, the Facebook. There's so many kids who graduated, you know, just recently. So we're going to uh, consecrate these kids, you know, especially if you have kids that are going away for college or high school, you know, they are not, you know, in your household anymore. We need to pray more and envelope them with our prayers because, you know, temptation is always there and you're not there alone now to watch over your kids. But that's why it's very important that we entrust our kids to the Blessed Mother. You know, that's what I did when my daughter, after high school, she studied in L.A. You know, I know that I could not be with her anymore, but then I just intertwined her with my rosary all the time so because I know that Mama Mary loves my daughter more than I do the same as all your kids like our blessed mother love our kids more than we do so we will entrust our kids to our blessed mother as they pursue whatever career they want to do with their life and hopefully they will be all of those that they are doing will be pleasing to God because you know, as parents, our goal is to bring our kids and our spouses, right? And our spouse in heaven. That's our main goal, not to provide them with material goods, but to bring them closer to God and eventually bring them to heaven. So, hello, Tita Ting Ting. Thank you for joining from Iloilo and of course, Nining Harapa. Hi, Val. Good morning, Val. Hello, Tita Jen. Thank you for joining from Manila. So, and hi, Ness. Thank you for joining from Hong Kong. So today, you know, we will be learning about the icon and images. You know, people, those who doesn't believe in God and also, you know, our Protestant friends are always wondering why we have all these pictures and icons in our church. So, very important that you know that we do not worship the icons. We do not worship the image of Mama Mary or the or the cross, right? We don't. We give them reverence, right? Because they symbolize or represent the God that we worship and we love. Hi, Car. Hi, Merce and Chloe. Thank you for joining us this morning. Hello, Tito Rab. Are you joining us from New York? So, um, our we are now on Catechism 1159. So, this is the explanation why we have images and icons, okay? So, nobody have seen God the Father, right? Nobody have seen God the Father. Even Abraham or our forefathers in the Old Testament, they have not seen the face of the Father. But Jesus Christ, the Son, right, incarnate, have a face, have a body. So now we have that body and face that actually would give us an idea how God the Father looked like. Because isn't it that God the Son is the image of God the Father also, like they are one God, but three persons. So if we look at Jesus Christ, you know, we also think maybe God the Father looked the same, right? So the icons of the saints, on the other hand, right, they are in the church because they are our role models, right? They are um, normal people like all of us, but they live a very holy life that you know give us an inspiration that we too you know can be saint because no one that has not holy and has a sin could go to heaven so these saints will give us an inspiration that we too could be saints that it's not far fetched for all of us to live a holy life that is pleasing to God, despite what the world is teaching us, right? The world is teaching us different things, you know, the world of the flesh, right? The power, 
the vanity, but that's not what God is teaching us. So all these saints that we see, you know, images and statues and the church reminds us that we ourselves could be this could be saints right there we and we are all called to be saints according according to pope francis so hi imelda thank you for joining from um i wonder if you are in manila so and floor of course Thank you for joining from Manila. So if you guys could go to YouTube, if Nining Harapa could put the link, then that would be awesome. And if you could actually share the YouTube link when you share the video, okay, that would help our YouTube channel, okay? You know, I'm not like wanting us to be monetized, but I want our YouTube channel to keep afloat so that all the teachings are there when we need it and we need it to respond to the questions of our kids or our friends who needs more information about you know the catholic faith so in 1159 the sacred image the liturgical icon principally represents christ it cannot represent the invisible and incomprehensible god but the incarnation of the Son of God has ushered in a new economy of images. So according to St. John Damascene, okay, previously, God, who has neither a body nor a face, absolutely could not represented, be represented by an image. But now that he has made himself visible in flesh and has lived with us men, I can make an image of what I have seen in God and contemplate the glory of the Lord, his face unveiled. So that's why, you know, when we call, we'll look at the icon, like we look at the cross. And when we are praying, right, we, we meditate, meditate that that's how Jesus you know, on the cross when he was crucified. That's how Mama Mary and Guadalupe, and that's Mama Mary, you know, um, comfort, comforting St. John Paul. So so those images, you know, it's like when you are having a picture of someone you love, right? We have pictures in our house, in our wallet of our kids, our parents, because those are people we love. It reminds us of them. The same thing as the icons. And the images. So in Catechism 1160, Christian iconography expresses an image. In images, the same gospel message that scripture communicates by words. Image and word illuminate each other. So according to the Council of Nicene, Nicaea. Okay, so the Council of Nicaea is the oldest of all the councils, right? It was where the Nicene Creed was formulated, you know, our um our Christian creed where we where we say in summary what we believe, okay? That's our creed, the Nicene Creed, and that was found, founded in 325 by Emperor Constantine in Bethany you know, in the city of Nicaea. Nicaea. That's why it's called Ni the Council of Nicaea. So also in that council, hi, Maria, thank you for joining us today. Um, the Council of Nicaea is made up of all the bishops. It's like the, the synod now, right? The synod is made up of bishops and laity. And they answer questions about the faith. So the Council of Nicaea, was made was composed of all the bishops pretty much and they um answered you know and give illumination to the questions about the catholic faith and um of course the very important thing that everybody remember is the nicene creed okay the nicene creed so this is what the council said about the icons we declare that we preserve intact all the written and unwritten tradition of the church which have been entrusted to us one of these traditions 
consists in the production of representation artwork, which accords with the history of the preaching of the gospel, for it confirms that the incarnation of the word of God was real and not imaginary, and to our benefit as well, for realities that illustrate each other undoubtedly reflect each other's meaning. So, all the signs in the liturgical celebrations are related to the Christ, as are sacred images of the Holy Mother of God and of saints as well. They truly signify Christ, who is glorified in them. They make manifest the cloud of witnesses. You know that is in Hebrew 12. Verse 1, you know, the cloud of witnesses are the saints in heaven who continue to participate in the salvation of the world and to whom we are united. Above all, in sacramental celebrations, through their icons, it is man in the image of God finally transfigured into his likeness, who is revealed to our faith. So too are the angels who are all recapitulated in Christ. Hello, Tito Leandro. Thank you for joining us this morning in prayers. So the Council of Nicaea, okay, says this, following the divinely inspired teaching of our Holy Fathers and the tradition of the Catholic Church, for we know that this tradition comes from the Holy Spirit who dwells in her. We rightly define with full certainty and correctness that like the figure of the precious and life-giving cross, venerable holy images of our Lord and God, the Savior, and Jesus Christ, our inviolate lady, and the holy mother of God, and venerated angels, all the saints and the just, whether painted or made of mosaic, or other suitable material are to be exhibited in the Holy Church of God on sacred vessels and vestment walls and panels in the houses and in the streets. That's why we have them in our own home. But do you know why also that in the church, the, the we have uh, painted, right? We have uh, the doors and the windows have icons, have paintings. Why is that? Because in old times, there's 10% of Christians does not know how to read and does not know how to write. So in order for them to explain the faith to the little children, you know, these grandmas will bring their kids to the church and through the images in the church, they teach, they taught them about the faith, you know, the image of nativity, you know, the uh, Annunciation where Mama Mary and Angel Gabriel, right? Was Angel Gabriel was inviting or announcing to Mama Mary that she was chosen to be the mother of God. And that's how grandmas are teaching their kids before. So now you know, while we have so many, you know, paintings in the Catholic Church, and of course, you know, if you bring your grandkids to church, you could use that too to open a conversation and teach them about our faith, right? It opens because kids like stories. So you could tell them stories and you could look at the, the paintings. That's awesome. Hi, Manang Cecil. Thank you for joining from Manila. So Catechism 1162, this is the last paragraph. Welcome, Tita Faye. I'm so glad you're back home. So the beauty of the image moves me to contemplation as a meadow delights the eyes and subtly infuses the soul with the glory of God. Okay, this is, this is what St. John Damsin said. Similarly, the contemplation of the sacred icons united with meditation on the word of God and the singing of the liturgical hymns enters into the harmony of the signs of the celebration so that the mystery celebrated is imprinted in the hearts and memory is then expressed in the new life of the faithful. 
So we're going to stop here. And tomorrow, we're going to be uh, talking about when is the liturgy celebrated. So now you know why we have icons and paintings in our church and in our homes. And you could explain this. So now let's quiet ourselves and prepare our hearts. So that the mysteries, you know, the today we will meditate the joyful mystery. And we pray that we will learn lessons from these mysteries, which we will change. We gotta could make changes in our lives so we'll become closer to God and we'll be pleasing to Him. Let's take a few deep breaths and prepare our hearts and our body to receive the Holy Spirit. Take a deep breath and let go. One more time, take a deep breath and hold it for four seconds so that your lungs is fully expanded and let go through pursed lips and do it slowly. Now let's mark ourselves as we belong to the family of God, in the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's take another deep breath so that our whole body is relaxed. Breath in. And let go. As well let go. We also let go everything that is not of God and everything that is weighing us down. All our concerns, our anxieties, hopelessness, anger, jealousy and envy, our depression and our unforgiveness to those who have hurt us. And now that we have let it go and offered it to God, we will replace it with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We're going to ask the Holy Spirit to dwell in our hearts. Breathe in us, O Holy Spirit, that our thoughts may all be holy. Act in us, O Holy Spirit, that our work too may be holy. Draw our heart, O Holy Spirit, that our love, that we love, but what is holy. Strengthen us, O Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. Guard us, then, O Holy Spirit, that we always may be holy. Amen. Dear Lord, help us remember that in these troubled times, the cross that you have carried for our sake may better carry so that I will, we will better carry ours and to help others do the same. We offer our concerns to you, all our problems. So here, you know, offer all your problems to the Lord. Especially those that we could not express to other people. And for those brothers and sisters that they are asking for prayers, but they don't want them. To be verbalized. We 
we offer our own suffering for the conversion of sinners and the forgiveness of the sins and for the reparation of the sins of those who are away from God who drift away from the faith and for the salvation of souls, <clears throat> especially those who are in purgatory and no one is praying for them. For all our leaders, so they will continue to protect life from conception to death. For the people of Ukraine, so God will protect them and continue to give them courage. And that the leaders of the world will use all their resources, their powers to maintain peace for the safety of Cardinal Joseph Sen, for good health of those celebrating their birthdays this month, especially James Flores, Gurley Igiko, James Dophilis, Nining Harapa, Nick Meldred Insho, Merle Wen, Tita Carmen Nosworthy, for safety of all frontliners, especially my co-workers, the secretaries, paramedics, housekeepers, food services, transporters, especially the priests who are giving the last rites. For safety of all OFW, especially Kimi Kondo, Jen Perez, Mary Grace Yusoya, Elena Telibo, Melodison, and Bekbek Esperida. And for those who were just welcome to the faith, especially a Mary who was baptized yesterday. We have another little angel that came to join the family, family of God. May God continue to take care of these little angels as they grow and learn their faith. And for all IDPNs, so we will focus on our goal of building a culture of caring, that we will rejoice for all our successes, but most of all, to defend those who could not speak up for themselves and to alleviate the sufferings of others. For special intentions of Father Dixon Davis and their mission to Madagascar, Father Miguel, Bishop Kikanas, Father Butch, Father Ming Sobaldo, Father Ronnie Gonzalez, Father Juji Merwen, Nang Baby, Sarabia Midasielo, Nick Carolyn Escanlar, Father Albert Miranda, Flora Bartosilio, Jeanette and B-Boy Brania, Julieta Barber, Bless Noblesa, Glad Pili, Bell Palma, Carrie and Chris, Val Boatner, Mary Lou Lamparo, Mami Letty and Artie, the Tanalion family, and Rosalina Gansha for healing of body and spirit of the following. Flora, Carolyn, Carl Joseph Perez, Ricardo Sidanio, Joey Eluso, Father Benji, Clarence Marie Mediavilla, Lucia Ibalan, Takaisan, Andy Pruitt, Rebecca Yaldama, Sami Madden, all my patients, Ramon Urolfan, Annabelle Ejercito, Tess Eluso, Romeo Illumarag, Tita Flore Nepasena, Nancy Fantasvina Cochran, Arlene Olivares, Imelda Fernandez, A.J. Eliana, Isaac, Rebecca Carol Grace Euphemia, Father Shodo, Nono Jun Istose, Karen Gibson, Patsy Arandia, Luci Santander, Margaret Henry Cross, Jeneline Sarabia Manalo, Mary Grace Idhan, Father Martin Nyland, Max Espana, Pedro Escorpiso, son of Tita Becky, Tita Eve Porras, Tito June, Tito Rowley, Tito Henry, Tito Elmer, Momin Jamal, Baby Xander, Tito Enrico, Rochelle Kimtang, Joey Almeda, Mam Sute, Chrisma Velasquez, Luisa Alparo, Father Matthias Thelen, Richard Eckle, Rosemary Oviedo, Christian Kai, Beatriz Ichaleco, Sifina Iskandar, Jan Jesus Samonteza, Mary Grace Iscobanias, Antonio Iscamilian, Anthony, Antonio Rojas. For those called by God ahead of us, may they be granted eternal rest and consolation to their family, especially Tito Elmer, Julius Alulosan, Joseph Poltababa, Teresa Igamen, Simitza Nakasawa, Jake Wise, Manang Elena Delgado, Saldi Escorpiso, 
Elias Sufficiencia, Freddy Combate, Felia Espana, Tita Ines, Tita Pilar Cartagena, Zach, Tita Nina Hinko, Percy Costes, Cosette de Guzman, Father Freddy Paulo, Jem Colat, Lilia Estoleros, Luis Sicana, Beatriz Islabra, Grace Elie, Efren Martinez, Juan Escaba, Ua Esteba, Carolina Iaiti Miller, Fred Asistido, Bibito Galendez, Pipito Escalarga, Sony Incanto, Carmen Sarabia, Nestor Harapa, Eustachia Ineluna, Exaltacion Albao, Pato Imboltorio, Susimo Ilambre, Beatriz Estopado, Elsa Estraza, Lloyd Erfe, Joseph Calderon, Tony Encho, Cesar Escobanes, MJ Escanyan, Father Rich Monilo, Miguel Enabrad, Antonia Estimo, Angel Estato, Nitz Villarete, Felipe Edang, Stephen Alordes Lipianic, Angelo and Irene Loizaga, Menard Mina, Alma and Andy Estrabor, Berting, Imanig, Mario Vachon and Antonio Gonzaga, Rafael Eclebia, Connie Thelma Ben and Rafael Rapatan, John D. Hoff, Maria Cervantes, Salvacion and Rosario Meliesa, Antonio Bolivar, Milagros Idhan, Danilo Tamises, Lolita Esteba, Tommy Ismalia, Boy Nobleza, Antonio Esteba, Rosario Erdao, Juscoro Heredia, and Julito Galientes. For the intention of the, of the prayer warriors of St. Hannibal, St. Augustine, St. John Paul II, Christ the Good Shepherd, Soldiers of Mary, St. Anthony, ESD Family, St. Monica, Members of the Real Women, Our Ladies, Marian Movement for Priests, Father Peter Prokaskiewicz, please give them excellent health so they will continue to pray fervently for others. And for all the intentions, worries, sufferings that we keep in the silence of our hearts, let's unburden our hearts and offer them all to Mama Mary. The Litany of Humility, let our response be, Deliver us, Jesus. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear us from the desire of being esteemed, deliver us, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver us, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver us, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver us, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver us, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver us, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver us, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver us, Jesus. That others may be loved more than I, Jesus, grant us the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I, Jesus, grant us the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and we may decrease, Jesus, grant us the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and we set aside. Jesus, grant us the grace to desire it. That others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant us the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant us the grace to desire it. That others may become holier than I, than us, provided that we may become as holy as we should. Jesus, grant us the grace to desire it. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. For the intentions of Pope Francis 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. Now let's meditate the joyful mystery. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. Mary's message. God so love you that for your sake he willed his only begotten son to become a man. In fulfilling his Father's will, Christ came to earth to redeem you and to show you the path to heaven. In this mystery, Jesus teaches you to love God effectively by doing his will. Dear Blessed Mother, you replied to God's angel, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say. Simply and humbly, you made yourself available for the service God required. May we never forget your lesson of prompt response to the Father's will. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women. And blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery the visitation 
Christ had hardly taken flesh, and already he wanted to be shared. He longed to give Zachary, Elizabeth, and the unborn John the joy of his presence. In this mystery, Jesus invites you to share him with your fellow man. Freely you have received, freely give. Dear Blessed Mother, your example of charity and apostolic zeal is precious lesson. Make us understand how to preserve the faith by sharing Christ with others. Less privilege spiritually. When we keep our faith in Christ to ourselves, please remind us to, sh to care and share, at least through the charity of prayer. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery is the Nativity at Bethlehem. The kindness and graciously of, graciousness of God, our Savior, appeared to invite a sin-saddened world to rejoice. The herald angels greeted Christ's birth as good news of great joy. You believe in Christ, so be full of the joy He gives you as a pledge of endless bliss in His presence. Dear Blessed Mother, help us to serve the Lord with gladness. May we put away all gloom and sadness to look like a Christian firmly convinced of God's loving kindness and mercy. Let us be glad in Him and joyful because of His Spirit. Then, like you, we can be a cause of joy to all others around us. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of all death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation. When you were baptized, you were presented to the Lord in his temple. You then agreed to serve him faithfully on earth, that you might worship him and be his forever. May this rosary mystery always recall your baptismal promises and inspire you to live up to them. Thank you, dear Blessed Mother, for turning our thoughts to our first meeting with Christ at the baptismal font. In joining his company, we rejected evil and sin by pledging lifelong fidelity to Christ. Virgin most faithful, please pray to the Lord for us that we may remain totally and generously dedicated to him and keep our baptismal promises. Amen. <clears throat> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of Jesus in the temple. Mary's message, in your life, also there will be a strange divine doings to puzzle you. You may wonder in dismay what God wants to accomplish. You may wish to probe in prayer to discover his hidden reasons. God does not ask you to understand his doings fully, but rather to align your will with his incomplete filial trust. Dear Blessed Mother, the thousand whys on my lips are not always the best response to God. May his Holy Spirit teach us, as he taught you, to accept his ways without always asking God to prove again his care of us. May we always reverence his presence within us as another living temple of his glory. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious, advocate thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, shown to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech Thee, that in meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's pray for our priest. May God give us holy and courageous priests and also for guidance of the following seminarians. Arnel Tagulalap, Jan Sabedra, Primo Yaiti, Dennis Lacerna Marcos, Rafael Hercelina, Bob Image, Juan Arnaez, Jerome Arizuelo, Robert Ducado, Charles Villanueva, Clifford Espinosa, and Clyde Yucashon. O Jesus, our great high priest, hear our humble prayers on behalf of thy priest. Give them a deep faith, a bright and firm hope, and a burning love which shall ever increase in the course of their priestly life. In their loneliness, comfort them. In their sorrow, strengthen them. In their frustrations, point out to them that it is true suffering that the soul is purified and show them that they are needed by the church, they are needed by souls, they are needed for the work of redemption. O loving Mother Mary, Mother of Priests, take to your heart your sons who are close to you because of their priestly ordination and because of the power which they have received to carry on the work of Christ in a world which needs them so much. Be their comfort, be their joy, be their strength. And especially help them to live and to defend the ideals of consecrated celibacy. Amen. Let's pray to St. Michael to protect our family, especially the weakest members of our family, our children. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke us, we humbly pray, and, with, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Prayer to defeat the work of Satan. O Divine Eternal Father, in union with your Divine Son and the Holy Spirit, and through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg you to destroy the power of your greatest enemy, the evil spirits, cast them into the deepest recesses of hell, and chain them there forever. Take possession of your kingdom, which you have created and which is rightfully yours. Heavenly Father, give us the reign of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We repeat this prayer out of pure love for you and with every breath of our heart and with every breath we take. Amen. Thank you, Mama Mary and all the angels and saints who are praying with us today. Please endow the same blessings to all the prayer warriors who could not join us because of Wi-Fi issues. And for all, for those who are starting their day, may all their words and their actions will be pleasing to God. And for those who are about to rest, please give them a tranquil and undisturbed rest. We ask this to the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who reigns forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Hi, Angela. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And of course, hi, Juji. Thank you for joining from Igbaras and Luchi. Always here joining from California. And then, so tomorrow, we're going to start again the um, uh, 
another novena, okay, for the divine mercy. So then we just continue doing that. And uh, if you have anybody that you want us to pray, you know, you message me and we will include them in our intentions. So God bless everyone. See you tomorrow.